February is Black History Month in Canada. It's a time to honour and celebrate the many contributions of Black people to Canadian society. It's a time to remember African Canadian history, the struggles and the haunting legacy of the transatlantic slave trade. Black history is Canadian history, and this is perhaps the perfect time to introduce everyone to a part of the United Church's history that few people may know about. That is the history of black peoples in the United Church. Black people have been part of the congregations that formed the United Church of Canada for more than 100 years. African Canadians were actively involved in churches across the country. In Toronto, for example, Wilbur Howard was ordained in 1974. He was elected as the first and to date the only black moderator of the United Church. Many other black people have offered leadership in the church over time. But even today in the United Church, a church that is committed to racial justice, many black people and black leaders still struggle with feelings of isolation, alienation, and racism. I come from Scarborough, and Scarborough is one of the most diverse places in Canada. And if you look at the United Churches within Scarborough, they're mainly white. And it's, it's fascinating to me how a community could look so different from the community that they live in. And there's a reason for that, because people aren't feeling comfortable, people don't feel welcome, people don't see themselves represented, people, people coming in don't all, don't, all, don't all feel called to educate others, and, and they just want to be and have a spiritual place where they can call their home. Since 2005, a new group of black people started meeting. Part of this group's focus is about making changes in the United Church. The group is called the Journeys of Black Peoples in the United Church of Canada. But we still have a long way to go as we move into the future. For a church that is striving to become more intercultural, Black History Month provides a unique opportunity to learn more about the lives and legacies of people of African descent. I think it's an ongoing journey um, of making sure that we feel at home because we all come from different cultures and different backgrounds and different understanding of, you know, our different church beliefs. February could also be a time for congregations to make an intentional commitment to becoming more culturally sensitive, justice conscious, and racially inclusive. How will you celebrate Black History Month?